eating is a good thing. Asian women are a good thing. But bullying isn't. Okay. I love Korean women. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to Grim. In today's video, I actually found out that Big Ed has a YouTube channel. He's a little bit unknown right now at only 16 and a half thousand subscribers at the time of filming this. But this video popped up in my recommended since as you can tell, I've just watched nothing but Ed compilations on YouTube when I'm bored. So this is called ASMR Big Ed Korean Mukbang and Dating Secret. I have no idea how to pronounce mukbang correctly. Let's move past it. Anyways, that's right. He's breaking into the ASMR realm of YouTube. So I started to play this video and then I realized, you know what? No, this is a full video I can make out of this. Let's react to this and see if he actually does ASMR right. I don't know which sounds better, him being terrible at it or him being actually good at ASMR because both sound scary. Anyways, let's get into it. Hey, Big Ed here. This is Big Ed. What's going on? Tonight, I decided to have me some um, Korean um, food, mukbang style. Dang, so maybe that's how you pronounce it. He's probably more cultured than me. I do gotta say, I don't really find this to be very ASMR right now. It kind of just looks like he popped the fisheye lens on his iPhone 11 Pro and was like, hey, here's five plates of food in front of me. I'm about to eat it. I was expecting him to come in whispering, but no. He, in fact, his voice sounds a little more gravelly than normal. But regardless, on the ASMR front, it's not too good. But look at all this food here. Obviously, he's about to go to town, and this is gonna be very enjoyable for us to watch and listen to. I guarantee it. Um... I want to thank you guys for listening. I also want you to check out my merch site. Dude, he's like 30 seconds in and he's already plugging his clothing brand. This is a man that understands his personal brand and that he really has to capitalize on this 15 seconds of fame. That almost sounded like a YouTube outro. You know, usually you thank people for listening once the video's done, not once it's about 20 seconds in. But hey, you're welcome for listening this far, Ed. I'm a loyal fan. What can I say? So let's get started. I don't know where to begin. I think I'm going to start with this right here. I don't know what it is, but... It it smells great. Ed's got some editing skills here, bro. He goes for the noodles first up, which of course we all know is going to be the best sounds coming out of this specific food. Out of all these here, I could care less about all the other crunchy stuff. I just want to hear Big Ed slurp down some noodles to start my day. And you saw that on the left side there, ASMR activated. That's right. He was wanting to talk normal and have you be comfortable and think, wow, he doesn't really know how to do ASMR. And then all of a sudden he whips out the noodle dish here. I mean, <laughs> smart play by him. Oh my God, it's... <coughs> It's spicy, but it's good. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh, getting on my shirt. Dude's coughing and spilling after like two bites. I really don't know how much of this is actually gonna end up being eaten as apparently it looks a little bit too spicy for old Ed here. I gotta say also, quite an eclectic background here. I don't know why he's got a mirror outside. Maybe he was following that TikTok trend, but it looks like this man's got a nice patio setup. He really could do this YouTube thing, you know? I feel like once this wave of being on the TLC show ends and maybe he doesn't get any more gigs, he should really try out vlogs. What's amazing is, you know, Ed was like, hey, I'm gonna do this video where I eat a whole bunch of food. I'm gonna have to be pretty good at using the utensils that I use to eat. What should I get? Oh, I know I can't use chopsticks, but let's get some Korean food. Yeah, that'll work. I swear half this video is going to be him trying to get the bite into his chopsticks versus what it should be, which is most of him eating and talking. Also, I'm still waiting for this dating secret. I was told I was going to be able to pick up chicks after this video, Ed, but I'm starting to think your title might be a little clickbait. Oh my God. That is so good. Richard, that's so good. Ed, you're supposed to be talking to the audience when you're doing ASMR. Also, try out the whispering, bro. We don't know who this Richard guy is. I'm guessing he's your cameraman, but we want to know how good the food is as the audience. You got a lot to learn about this YouTube industry, my friend. I've never been to Korea. I've been to North Korea. I'm just kidding. I've never been to Korea. I love Korean women. Of course that was his freaking answer. He's always got to go back to the women. <laughs> oh, this guy is so odd. He's just a weird duck, man. I swear. So honestly, most of this video so far has just been Ed struggling to get these noodles into his chopsticks and mouth subsequently. And then things take a turn here. He just brings up a random conversation topic with Richard. I love Korean women. They start talking about Korea. You do not know how to do ASMR or mukbang content at all. They're so beautiful. I would love to. Uh, I want to go to Korea. I want to go to Taiwan and Vietnam. Well, those are my friends. 
<laughs> so this dude's talking about a tour to see, you know, different international women, all while munching down on this fried chicken in the most disgusting, grotesque way. I think he's just using his iPhone mic, but for some reason, it's actually working really well for this ASMR. It's picking up these food sounds much more than I would like them to. I'm now wondering if the rest of this video is just going to be Ed fantasizing about all these different women he's going to meet overseas versus actually talking about dating secrets and what it's like to be eating this food. I love um, Asian culture and I love Asian women. You know why? Because they age well, just like wine. Ah, because Ed needs someone that's been able to age as well as he has, you know? He just has retained this beautiful physique carried on in from his young adulthood. And I can see why he wants a partner that's the exact same. I totally get where you're coming from, my dude. Also, he's got the freaking comments turned off on this video, so I bet he was just trying to block the amount of people that were talking about how weird his breakdown of all these countries is that he wants to go to. This is not the kind of content we want to listen to. This man's over here just daydreaming and forgetting that he's even filming a YouTube video, just talking with his buddy. Asian women age like a bottle of wine, and they're sweet. I knew this video was going to be terrible when I decided to react to it, but I really am kind of changing my mind about wanting to experience this, you guys. At least I know, you know, once this video is edited and uploaded, everyone else has to share the same, you know, situation as me. So we're all in this together, and that makes me feel a lot better. Let's keep going. You know, as we're filming this, I wonder if his buddy Richard is just sitting here wondering what got him into this exact position in his life. He's got to be just sitting behind this phone, watching the preview of what they're filming, thinking like, dude, why am I sitting across from this guy who's just scarfing down food and talking about different Asian women? Where did I go wrong? So what's crazy is, guys, I'm actually going to skip forward like three minutes here because he starts talking about like the weirdest food items that he's ever eaten, which sounds kind of cool. But what blows my mind is unprompted about three minutes later, he just goes right back to it. Check it out. I love Korean women. I love Asian women. Like, bro, this is getting to a creepy level. If he cannot stop himself from talking about the different type of women that he loves, like four different times in the six minutes that I've been watching him, he must be insufferable to be around and listen to or even have a conversation with. Talk about creepy vibes, dude. No wonder the comments are turning off right now. And I think you need to turn yourself off a little bit before you start filming your next YouTube video, all right? I love all women. You know what? Can I tell you guys a secret? When it comes to dating. Because I'm starting to date again. God, all I want is this freaking dating tip, but he's spending 30 seconds breaking it down while taking the biggest bites of noodles in between. Just tell me how to pick up women, Ed. That's what everyone wants from this video. When we go to a restaurant, I will, um, I will see how she treats the waiter. And if she's rude to the waiter, she's out. That means she's mean. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Call me surprised, but this is actually a very mature and serious recommendation from Ed here. And I think that's something everyone should follow. That's actually a big thing that I've discussed with my girlfriend before too. And it's something that I kind of evaluate with everyone, not just, you know, people that you want to date. But treating wait staff and especially the service industry with respect and just understanding that they're doing their job no matter what, even if they mess up your food, it's just a pretty good sign that someone is level-headed and mature. So I'm surprised he had that shout out, all while having a stray noodle on his neck. I thought he was just going to say, you should really try to go overseas if you want to meet someone or something like that. Like... <laughs> I'm surprised it wasn't creepy. It's just so weird to hear dating advice from a guy who seems so stable when you talk to him, well, somewhat, and then you actually watch his actions and you realize he's a total man-child that doesn't understand anything about building a connection with someone, a genuine connection at least. I guess you gotta expect that when he hasn't even talked about what he likes personality-wise in people, he just likes where they're from. So really, to be honest, the rest of this video is just Ed going back to this noodle dish because he really, really loves those noodles. He mentions it about 20 different times. I think like a pear. Like an Asian pear, I love this, oh my God. I gotta hit this. Eating is a good thing. Asian women are a good thing, but bullying isn't. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so I don't know if I'm gonna leave that laugh in that I just made because it sounded maniacal, but he really did loop it all in for this outro here. I mean, call him a normal YouTuber with an outro. Wow, I'm, I'm shocked, Ed, you did really well. <laughs>
he mentions, you know, Asian women are awesome, but bullying you guys, bullying is always bad. We know that. I'm glad we were able to have a very wholesome ending for this video. Thank you so much, Ed. Guys, go ahead and check out his content if you want to see more. I'm probably going to cover more of his YouTube videos if he keeps doing weird things like ASMR. I don't know why that was his first choice for a vlog, but you know what? It works and it was great content. Let me know what you thought of this video down below. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, peace out.